good morning students this is maths class i hope all you are fine and safe so today we are going to learn gaussian elimination method the continuation of the previous class okay so gaussian elimination the first step is write the given equation or transform it into augmented matrix first step write in augment write the augmented matrix then row echelon form bring that augmented matrix to row echelon form then write again the given equation from the row echelon form then back substitution method isn't it first we may get the value of z then y then x so in the last class the equations were given directly and we have solved and found out the answer isn't it using gaussian elimination method but in today's class it will be given in sentence we should find out the equation and then we have to solve using the this procedure shall we move to the problem see example 1.28 the upward speed v of t of a rocket at the time t is approximated by v of t is equal to at square plus pt plus c comma 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 100 so the time varies from 0 to 100 where a b and c are constant It has been found the speed at time t equal to three, t equal to six, and t equal to nine seconds are respectively sixty-four, hundred and thirty-three, and two hundred and eight miles per second, respectively. So when t is equal to three, v of t is equal to sixty-four. That means we can write, see, v of three is equal to sixty-four. The next one is. V of six is equal to hundred and thirty-three. The next V of nine is equal to two hundred and eight. This is given. The question is find the speed at the time t is equal to fifteen. So V of fifteen we need to find it out. In order to find V is equal to fifteen, what we need it is given V of t equal to at square plus bt plus c. So we need What is A, B, and C? Okay, three clues are given. Using this, first we have to find out the equations. See, given V of t is equal to A t square plus B t plus C. So V of three means what will be there? My A into three square plus B into three plus C, which is equal to sixty four. So we may get. Three square nine a plus three b plus c is equal to sixty four. This is equation number one. The next v of six, that is a into t square six square plus b into six plus c is equal to hundred and thirty three. So six square six into six thirty six a plus six b. Plus c is equal to hundred and thirty three. So equation number two. Then b of nine is equal to a into nine square plus b into nine plus c is equal to two hundred and eight. So nine into nine, so we may get eighty one a plus nine b plus c is equal to Two hundred and eight. This is equation number three. Now we have got three equations. Using these three equations, we have to find out the answer for a, b, and c, and then we can substitute in v of t. Okay, v of t is needed, so we can put it as big one. Okay, what is the next step, ma? We should write this in. Augmented matrix. Okay, shall we write it? So the augmented matrix A comma B is equal to. 
So the first one 9, 3, 1. Constant we have to put a line and write it, isn't it? The next 36, 6, 1, 133, 81, 9, 1, 208. Okay, now what we should do ma? We have to write it in row eclan form. So the first procedure is bringing these two terms. These two values are 0. So first we will check whether 1 is there in any place. Here no 1 is there. So using this itself we have to subtract and make it as 0. See here there is a relation 36 and 9. We know 4 into 9 is 36. So R2 can be changed as R2 minus 4 into R1. Is that clear? The same way here 81 is there. We know 9 into 9 is 81. So R3 is going to change as R3 minus 9 into R1. So shall we do it? Listen, R2 is going to change as R2 minus 4 into R1 and R3 is going to change as R3 minus 9 into R1. So R1 there is no change. 9, 3, 1, 64. So R2, 36, 6, 1, 133. Minus 4 into R1. Multiply by minus 4, minus 36, minus 12, minus 4. 64 into minus 4 is minus 256. Now it is enough to add, isn't it? 0, 6 minus 12, minus 6. 1 minus 4, minus 3. 133 minus 256 is minus 123. Now shall we write here? 0, minus 6, minus 3, minus 123. And the next one is R3 minus 9 into R3. R, see R3, 81, 9, 1, 208. Minus 9 into R1. Minus 81. Minus 27. Minus 9. 64 into minus 9 is minus 576. Now add it ma. 0. 9 minus 27. Minus 18. Minus 8. Subtract it. We will get minus 368. Now shall we substitute here. 0. Minus 18. Minus 8. Minus 368. 68. Is that clear? Now what is the next position now? We have to bring this value as 0. Before that, see this column minus is common. Isn't it? In this row. And I, this is divisible by 3. And here these numbers are divisible by 2 and minus is there. So I am going to write R2 is going to change as R2 divided by minus 3. And R3 is going to change as R3 divided by minus 2. So here first row there is no change. 9, 3, 1, 64. And let's see 0. Minus will get cancel. 2, 3 is R6 isn't it? Here 1, 3 is 6, 3. This is 41. When we divide by minus 3, minus and minus will get cancelled. 4 3s are 12 and 1 3 is 3. And here 0, minus and minus will get cancelled. 18 divided by 2, 9. Minus 8 divided by minus 2, that is 8 divided by 2 is 4. And here when we divide, how much we will be getting? That is 1. 8, 4. Isn't it? Now what we should do ma? We have to bring, make this 9 as 0. How to bring it? How to bring this as 0? See here 9, there 2. Both should be common, isn't it? If it is same element means only when we add or subtract it will get 0. Here 9 is there, there we have 2. So what we can do? Like LCM when we are when we need we will just multiply isn't it? Here we have to multiply by 2 and there we have to multiply by 9. See here I am writing R3 is going to change as 2 into R3 minus 9 into R2. 2 into R3 minus 9 into R2. Shall we do it? So first row there is no change 9, 3, 1. 
64 and the second row also there is no change 0 1 41 so 2 into r3 multiply it that is 0 18 4 into 2 8 and 184 into 2 that is 368 and here it is minus 9 into r2 shall we multiply so listen minus 18 minus 9 41 into minus 9 is minus 369 0 0 8 minus 9 minus 1 368 minus 369 is minus 1 substitute here 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 now we have got it in a row eclan form so the equivalent equations equivalent equations from that when we write it what we may get it 9x 9 here it is in abc isn't it 9a plus 3b plus c is equal to 64 then here 0 this is 2b plus c is equal to 41 this is minus c is equal to minus 1 so already 1 2 3 equation given so 4 5 and 6 see c is equal to 1 so equation 5 implies 2b plus c 2b plus 1 equal to 41 or 2b is equal to 41 minus 1 2b is equal to 40 so we may get b is equal to 40 by 2 that is b is equal to 20 is that clear now equation number 4 implies 9a plus 3b 3 into 20 plus c plus 1 is equal to 64 so 9a plus 60 plus 1 equal to 64 or 9a plus 61 is equal to 64 or 9a is equal to 64 bring that to the next side minus 61 so what we may get 9a equal to 3 a is equal to 3 by 9 so we may get that is 1 by 3 so we have got that c equal to 1 b equal to 20 and a is equal to 1 by 3 therefore the big one implies v of t is equal to a t square that is 1 by 3 t square plus b t 20 t plus c that is 1. Now we are supposed to find out what is v of 15. Shall we substitute? See 1 by 3 into 15 square plus 20 into 15 plus 1. Simplify it mark. See 15 square 225 divided by 3 plus 300 plus 1. So totally we have got it. V of 15 is equal to 376. Would you all understand this? Shall we move to the next problem? Exercise 1.5 problem number 3. An amount of rupees 65,000 is invested in 3 bonds at the rates of 6% 8% and 9% per annum respectively. The total annual income is rupees 4800. The income from the second bond is rupees 600 more than that from the Sorry, the income from the third bond is rupees 600 more than that from the second bond. Determine the price of each bond. Use Gaussian elimination method. So, what is given ma? Rupees 65,000 is invested in three bond. So, total three bond together 65,000. So, see, uh, x plus y plus z is equal to 65,000. Then at the rate of 6%, 8% and 9% the total income is 48,000. Okay. So I can take 6% before that let the amount invested 6%, 8% and 9% rates be x, y, z respectively. So 6% of x 
plus 8 percentage of y plus 9 percentage of z gives 4800. Isn't it? And one more value they have given the income from the third bond is. So 9 percentage of z is equal to 600 more than that from the second bond. So 600 plus second bond percentage is 8 percentage. So 8 percentage of y. So three equations is there. We have to find out what is x, y, z. That's what they have asked. Determine the price of each bond. Shall we find out? See here the percentage when it is there we will be dividing by 100 isn't it? 6 by 100 into x plus 8 by 100 into y plus 9 by 100 into z is equal to 4800. Now what we can do in order to bring this delete this 100 either take LCM and to cross multiply or multiply by 100. So we may get 6x plus 8y plus 9 z is equal to Two more zeros we will get here, isn't it? So it will become 4 lakhs 80,000. Now the next one is 9 percentage of Z is equal to 600 plus 8 percentage of Y. Convert this percentage to ordinary number. So 9 by 100 into Z equal to 600 plus 8 by 100 into Y. So all the variables, variables will be in left hand side, isn't it? So take this to left hand side. Minus 8 by 100 into Y plus 9 by 100 into Z is equal to 600. Multiply by 100, so we make it minus 8y plus 9 is set is equal to, when two more zeros, when it comes here, it will become 60,000. Now, we have equation 1, 2, 3. So, we can write augmented matrix A comma B, first equation, 1, 1, 1, 65,000. Next equation is 6, 8, 9, 4 lakhs, 80,000. And third equation, coefficient of x is not there, so 0. Minus 8, 9, 60,000. Now, to, we have to do row eclan procedure, isn't it? So, these two values should be 0. But here it is already 0. So, only this position to be 0. Oh, it's here it is 1, isn't it? So, it will be easy for us. R2 is going to change as R2 minus 6 into R1. 6 minus 6, it will become 0, isn't it? So first row there is no change and the last row also there is no change. See it is easy I hope to subtract since 1 1 1 is there. Multiply by 6, 6 minus 6, 0, 8 minus 6, 2, 9 minus 6 that is 3. Now, here 65,000 into 6 we have to multiply, isn't it? So, listen, 48, 4 lakhs 80,000, then 65,000 into 6 is, say, 3 lakhs 90,000. So, we have got it 90,000. Okay. Now, these two values we have got it 0. Now, this position it should be 0. Here, a minus 8 is there. There, we have 2. What we can do with my 8, minus 8 means it will become 0, isn't it? So, R3 is going to change as R3 plus 4 into R2. Because here minus is there. So, if we add only it will become 0. That is the reason. So, first row 1, 1, 1, 65,000. And second row 0, 2, 3. 90,000 and third row only we are subtracting. This is 0 minus 8. 2 into 4 is 8. Minus 8 plus 8 is 0. Now here 4 into 3, 12. Isn't it? 4 into 3, 12. 9 plus 12. That is 21. Now here for this value anyway we have to write it. Already we have 60,000. Now plus 4 into R2. Isn't it? 4 into 4 into 9 is 36. See, 6 plus 6, 12, 1. Oh, 4 lakhs, 20,000. Isn't it? Now we have got it in row eclan form. So it's easy for us to simplify. See? Equivalent equations. 
So x plus y plus z is equal to 65,000. This is new equation that is 4. 2y plus 3z is equal to 90,000. Equation number 5. So 21z is equal to 4 lakhs 20,000. So maybe z is equal to 4 lakhs 20,000 by 21. We all know 21 into 2 is 41. 42. So 1, 2, remaining 4, 0. So Z is equal to 20,000. Is that clear? Z is equal to 20,000. Now we have to substitute in equation number 5. So equation 5 implies... Two y plus three z that is three into twenty thousand is equal to ninety thousand or two y plus sixty thousand is equal to ninety thousand two y is equal to ninety thousand take this gamma minus sixty thousand so we may get two y is equal to nine minus three sorry nine minus six is three. So, y is equal to 30,000 divided by 2. 1, 2 is 2, 10, 5, remaining 3 zeros. So, we have got it. Y is equal to 15,000. Is that clear? Now, we have to substitute everything in equation number 4. X plus Y, 15,000 plus Z, 20,000 equal to 65,000. So, x plus 15 plus 20, that is 35,000 is equal to 65,000. So, x is equal to 65,000. Take to next side, minus 35,000. So, we are getting 65,000 minus 35,000 is 30,000. Is that clear? So, the price of each bond, if we want... You can write prices of each bond is, what is that? 30,000 rupees 30,000 comma rupees 15,000 and rupees 20,000. Is that clear? Now shall we move to the next problem? Listen, next problem number 4. A boy is walking along the path y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Through the points minus 6 comma 8, minus 2 comma minus 12 and 3 comma 8. So 3 clues they have given x comma y values are given. So when we substitute here we will be getting 3 equations isn't it? Okay. He wants to meet his friend at p of 7 comma 16. Will he meet his friend? Use gauge elimination method. See, will he meet his friend means when we substitute x equal to 7, we should get y is equal to 60. If you are getting like that, we can say he will meet his friend. If you are not getting that 60, we will say that he will not meet his friend. Is that clear? Okay, fourth problem given y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Put it as big one. Now, at three points is there, isn't it? At the first point, minus 6, 8. Substitute a into minus 6 the whole square plus b into minus 6 plus c is equal to 8. Minus 6 into minus 6 plus 36a. This is minus 6b plus c is equal to 8. Equation number 1. Then the next point is minus 2 comma minus 12. a into minus 2 the whole square plus b into minus 2 plus c is equal to minus 12. See, minus 2 into minus 2, 4a plus into minus, minus 2b plus c is equal to minus 12. This is equation number 2. And the third point given is 3 comma 8. So, at 3 comma 8, a into 3 square plus b into 3 plus c is equal to 8. 3 square, 3 into 3, 9a plus 3b plus c is equal to 8. This is equation number 3. Now, if you wanted to substitute that p of 7 comma 16. So at x equal to 7 we are going to find out. 
when we substitute x equal to 7 a b c will be unknown isn't it so first we have to find out what is a b and c shall we find out see the adventure matrix a comma b i have written so our first place one should be there but here no one leave it the next we have to make this two value position as zero is it these two entries as zero how to bring it now there is a relation isn't it here 4 into 9 is 36 36 minus 36 means we will be getting that value as zero see so r2 is going to change as 9 r2 minus r1 so 9 into 4 is 36 minus 36 will become zero the same way r3 here 9 into 4 is 36, isn't it? So 4 into R3 minus R1. Is that clear? So 36 minus 6, 1, 8. Here first row there is no change. The other two places only we have changed. So we can write it and calculate, okay? See 9 R2. So multiply this second row by R9. 36 minus 18 9 minus 108 minus r1 just mul put the symbol minus change the symbols minus 36 plus 6 minus 1 minus 8 add it now 0 minus 18 plus 6 minus 12 9 minus 1 8 minus 108 minus 8 is minus 116 now we can write the answer 0 minus 12 8 minus 116 now 4 into R3, multiply this row by 4, 4 into 9, 36, 4 into 3, 12, 4 into 1, 4, 4 into 8 is 32. Now minus R1, change the symbol of R1, minus 36 plus 6, minus 1, minus 8. See 0, 18, 4 minus 1, 3, 32 minus 8 is 24. Now shall we write it? 0, 18, 3, 24. Now, when I see this is totally divisible by 4 and this is divisible by 3. So, I can write it R2 is going to change as R2 divided by 4 and R3 is going to change as R3 divided by 3. So, 36 minus 6, 1, 8 and here 0, minus 3 2 and here it is minus 29 and here 0 6 3 is are 18 1 3 is 3 8 3 is are 24 now we have returned now these two place we have got it 0 now this place we have to make it 0 uh, here 3 is there 3 into 2 is 6 isn't it we can multiply the r2 by 2 and add it See, R3 is going to change as R3 plus 2 into R2 because the symbol is minus. So, when we add it, it will become 0. 36 minus 6, 1, 8. 0 minus 3, 2 minus 29. 0. See, for that also, if you want, you can write it. R3, that is 0, 6, 1, 8. Now, 2 into R2, 0 minus 6, 2 into 2, 4, minus 29 into 2, that is minus 58. Add it ma 0, 0, 5, minus 50. <coughs> is that clear? So, try. we have got the answer. Now we can write the equivalent equations. See equivalent equations 36x minus sorry a 36a minus 6b plus c is equal to 8 minus 3b plus 2c is equal to minus 29 then 5c is equal to minus 50. See this is equation 4, 5, 6. C is equal to minus 50 by 5. That we have got it. Minus 10. 
Now, equation 5 implies minus 3b plus 2 into minus 10 is equal to minus 29 or minus 3b minus 20 is equal to minus 29. Minus 3b is equal to minus 29 plus 20. How much you will be getting? Ma? Minus 29 plus 20 is minus 9. So, b is equal to minus 9 by minus 3. So, 1, 3 is 3. 3, 3 is are 9. So, we have got the value b is equal to 3. Now, this both value we have to substitute in equation number 4. Shall we substitute? See? Equation 4 implies 36a minus 6b. So, 6 into 3 plus c that is minus 10 is equal to 8. So, 36a minus 18 minus 10 is equal to 8 or 36a minus 28 is equal to 8. Or 36a is equal to 8 minus 28 when it comes plus 28. So 36a is equal to 36, isn't it? So a is equal to 36 by 36, that is 1. Right? Therefore, now we have got all a, b, c. We can substitute in equation 1, that is y is equal to a x square plus b x, that is plus 3 x plus c. That is minus 10. Is that clear? Yeah. Now we can check it. When x is equal to 7, y is equal to that is 7 square plus 3 into 7 minus 10. 7 square, 7 into 7, 49 plus 3 into 7, 21 minus 10. This is 70 minus 10, which is equal to. 60. So actually P of 7, 60 they ask, isn't it? Therefore, 7, 60 lies on this equation, isn't it? Therefore, or hence, he will meet his friend. This is the question they asked whether he will meet his friend or not. Hence, he will meet his friend friend. Okay, is that clear? So, today we have learned three problems, isn't it? One example and problem number three and fourth. Second problem is the homework for you. See the second problem. If ax square plus bx plus c is divided by x plus 3, x minus 5 and x minus 1, the remainders are 21, 61 and 9 respectively find a b c use gauss elimination method see take the given equation as f of x okay and we know that or you can take it as p of x also no issue so x plus 3 when we divide we are getting the remainder 21 what is the meaning of that x plus 3 equal to 0 means x equal to minus 3 that means f of minus 3 is equal to 21 the next x minus 5, when we divide by x minus 5, the remainder is 61. x minus 5 means plus 5 here. f of 5 equal to 61. Same way x minus 1, the remainder is 9. So f of 1 equal to 9. Substitute here my f of minus 3. a into minus 3 the whole square plus b into minus 3 plus c is equal to 21. Minus 3 into minus 3 plus 3 plus 9, isn't it? 9a minus 3b plus c equal to 21. Similar way, when you substitute f of 5 and f of 1, you will be getting other two equations. Three equations are there. Here, the question is find a, b and c. So, just to solve it and find out the value, what is a, b and c. Is that clear? First, write the augmented matrix. Do the row clan method procedure. Write the equation again. Then find out the value of A, B, C. See, A, B, C answers as I have given. A equal to 2, B equal to 1 and C equal to 6. Is that clear? Only one problem I have given you as homework. Complete it by this. Our exercise 1.5 has got over. Now your work is to learn thorough. Okay.
Thank you students. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.